Hello, I'm Henrietta Berlix and I'm Director at Farmers Art Gallery. Here at Farmers Art Gallery we have a very good collection. We have about 1,600 pictures of all the um, Cornish artists from, um, well, from about 1820 to the present day. We have fantastic contemporary uh, print collections. Um, and we are an open access museum as well, which, uh, or a gallery I should say, which means that um, if you're particularly interested in an artist and we have their works uh, here on the premises, you can always come and ask to see them and we will do our utmost to show them to you. We've got a brass band there, we've got a red carpet for you, people handing out sweets and lollipops and you take as much as you like. Okay. And then you can walk back into the art gallery the way you came. Now, it took you on the journey, and you actually did that journey. And if I asked you to do a painting based on that, because you saw it, you could paint it. There's a, a terrific organisation sponsored by The Guardian that's called Kids in Museums, and we have. Uh, not recently, but um, certainly several years running, won uh, awards as a family-friendly museum, and that is a big emphasis for what we do. The idea behind it is that school children come in and take over your organisation. So it doesn't matter what sort of organisation it is, well, it's, it's an arts organisation, but it could be a theatre, it could be um, an orchestra, it could be whatever, and they actually come in and take over running your space or, or doing activities in your space. Um, in our case the other day, we um, had uh, some children from St John's Catholic School in Camborne um, and they came to meet the artist John Dyer and they did a, uh, a, a bit of a talk um, and a little bit of a workshop with him and then they helped us to make decisions about which paintings we wanted to put in our, uh, our next permanent gallery um, exhibition which has currently just been opened. Um, and they did a lot of, uh, so they, they spoke to us about what they thought about how we hung pictures and whether we should hang in what sort of order, whether there should be themes, whether there should be colours, whether it was about hot and cold, um, and actually came up with some fantastic alternative titles and alternative descriptions. Um, so uh, for us, uh, things like Take Over Day are very important. One of the really fantastic things about Falmouth Art Gallery is that it has had a, a policy of community um, activity and internal activity. Um, so we have always done uh, workshops, but one of the very exciting things that we have always done as well is that we have always commissioned or, or have a collection of automata, that is, moving objects, which are very attractive to children and um, it is an easy way for them to get into a picture. So some of our automata are actually just based on a picture um, and uh, it makes them come alive. Um, in other ways, uh, as I say, with interactivity, it is to do with our community programme. So we work with Valcare and we work with uh, Dementia Club and we work with uh, the Stroke Club and various other community groups. We do baby paint twice a month, we do little fingers twice a month, so we're dealing across the spectrum at, and, and with people of all ages, we are entirely inclusive here. Found Art Gallery is uh, open from uh, 10 o'clock to 5, Monday to Saturday. On Saturdays we have drop-in workshops in the afternoon from 2 o'clock. We also have a lovely shop which stocks very nice gifts and um, very, very helpful staff who will um, talk to you about anything you happen to wish to know. Our entire collection is um, available to view online, um, so it's all digitised. So if you were to go to www.farmthartgallery.com um, and click on the tab that is Collections, you can just browse through our entire collection or pick an artist you fancy and, um, and that way you get yourself into what we've got here.